All right, we're back. So, we found x to be 90. We got a rhombus to review. Now we're going to find the value of y, and we're using this triangle here, which I had colored up into yellow. So, remember the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So what we would do is we would take the 90, we would add it to the 52. That is 142. And then to find y, we would take away 142 from 180 because the three interior angles add up to 180. So y would be 38 degrees, okay? Now to find n, what we're gonna do is, so if you notice, 5n plus one is represented as this part right here of the diagonal. And then the 8n minus 11 is this part of the diagonal. So remember, the two diagonals, the diagonals bisect each other. So that means the two pieces of a diagonal in a rhombus, they're gonna be equal to each other. So to solve for n, I would create the equation 8n minus 11 is equal to this part of the diagonal, which is 5n plus one. And then I would use this equation and use my algebra skills to solve for n. Subtract 5n from both sides, 3n minus 11 is equal to 1. Add 11 to both sides, 3n would be equal to 12. Then I would divide both sides by 3, therefore n would be equal to 4. Okay, moving on to number 5. Now notice number 5 says the perimeter of the quadrilateral is 90 centimeters. So we're told that the perimeter, so remember that means when we add up all four of the sides, then that means that we're going to get 90. Okay, and then, so what we notice, what you should notice is, is that the right side is marked congruent to the left side, and the right side is marked as 3n plus 2. So that means the left side we could mark as 3n plus 2. And the same goes for the bottom. The bottom side is marked as 5n plus 7, and it's marked as congruent to the top side, so the top side is 5n plus 7 as well. So what we would do to find the value of n would be we would add up all four of these sides. So we would take 5n plus 7, and we have two of those. We would add it to 3n plus 2, and we have two of those as well, and that would give me, give me my perimeter, which would make this equal to 90. So that's the equation that you would use to find the value of n, okay? 10n, whoops, 10n plus 14, distributing the two, plus, distribute the two here, that would give me 6n plus four is equal to 90, so I'm just solving for n, Combine the 10n and the 6n to make 16n. Combine the positive 14 with the positive 4. That makes plus 18. That would be equal to 90. Subtract 18 from both sides. 16n would be equal to 72. Divide both sides by 16. 